Tonight on Ziegel News, the Piggy Project insanity draws ever closer, and how far away are we from the Lich King? Hi, I'm Brav, and welcome to Ziegel News. Tonight, we'd like to take a look at everyone's favorite webcomic. No, no, not that one based around the Task Manager hotkey. The webcomic being highlighted here is simply known as the Piggy Project. It seems that Tim is no longer the only Z-Yuli that we know of, using the medium of comics to portray humor. Now our own Pig Iron Pete has driven his candy van into this arena, in hopes of no doubt one day attaining free stuff from his adoring vans. Though his audience is currently just z Yield, with comics including inside jokes and z Yield characters as actors, one could logically assume that as the comic grows in popularity, Piggy may begin to extend his comedic game to encompass all of WoW or various other games, in order to appeal to a broader audience of gamers. The comics created have been quite humorous so far, and we wish Piggy the best of luck in this new endeavor. And we encourage z Yieldies to check out the latest developments of the webcomic on our forums at thezguild.com. In other news, we have an update on a piece we featured over ten weeks ago. Revnox, the hunter of impossible achievements, is continuing his struggle for insanity. Though the count is constantly ticking down, Revnox is closing in on his last few major deck turn-ins for the Darkmoon Fair reputation. His goal is to get the last of the rep before the fair leaves on October 9th. For, if it does leave, he'll be unable to complete the reputation until it returns on the 31st. So if you're willing to donate some time to herbing, or even just some money to buy herbs, feel free to help out on this achievement that has become a bit of a guild initiative. We wish Revnox well on his one-way trip to insanity, and don't worry everyone, you'll know when he gets there. And now we turn to a note related to guild progression. As the impending cataclysm speeds ever closer, with Amazon reporting the release date as late November, one may ask the question, how far are we from the Lich King? To start, we will look at 25-man progression. The 25-man team is currently 11 out of 12. At the moment, the team is using the instance for farming purposes, both for gear and for Shadow Frost shards. Tim currently has 23 of the 50 required shards for Shadow Morn. The drop rate seems to average roughly 5 per 25-man raid. Once that is complete, the consensus may be to try extending the lockout and taking on the Lich King. On the 10-man front, there are currently 3 to 4 teams running 10-man content. Those are ICC Outrun. Nightwatch, Team Full Brazilian, and that's what she said. The alt run, though rather neglected as of late, is 10 out of 12, awaiting a chance to battle Sindragosa. The Nightwatch are 6 out of 12, having downed everything up to Putricide. The team is aiming to knock him out on Monday night. The team also plans to take a run at the Crimson Halls that night. Team Full Brazilian, having recently downed to Rogue Putricide, is now attempting to continue clearing their extended lockout in order to finally make a run at Rogue Lich King. The team will only have a combined 50 heroic wipes between Syndragosa, Putricide, and the Lich King before they have to reset their lockout and clear it again. That's What She Said is currently the next highest progressed team, with 11 out of 12 cleared, and no doubt ambitions to extend their lockout and take on the Lich King very soon. We would like to wish all of our teams luck in their raiding endeavors. With an estimated two months until Cataclysm, and with the new spike launch just around the corner, these closing days of Wrath are a very exciting time. As a final note, Z Guild is always recruiting casual players and cool people. Come check us out at thezguild.com.